Right then, guys, the uh, Rover P6. Now, I like a lot of these different cars. I like these. Uh, I like a bit of all sorts, me, but I like these. But there's a butt coming in there. And the butt is... <sighs> six out of ten seven out of ten just don't do it for me and it's not down to daft things like color or you know or spec or whether it's a 2000 or 22 or v8 it doesn't it's just whether they're a nice car um and we and and every now and again and we've been very lucky because this is the second one in as many months that um that i can say this and i can say I would put that in my collection, that's a lovely car. It's just nice and refreshing to get into uh, a nice car. Daft things, i tell you, not so much daft things, daft things like the choke that actually stays out, you know, little silly things like that, just about every one you get into. I know it's Nauten or something, you're not gonna buy a car on the strength of the fact that the choke works correctly, but just nice, that nice things like that. And I'll tell you what is nice from, firstly, Absolutely no engine noise from cold. Secondly, no clutch drag. See that? Now I have lost count of how many that we've had through and literally dozens and dozens and dozens. And you like that. Mm, 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 trying to get it in first gear, you know, when it's cold, it won't go in. You end up clearing the gate, going into second, third, and then popping it into first. This first gear reverse gear that is worth its weight in gold before you even start anywhere else so we'll have a quick look around we do i normally do it in a bit of an order but we're going to go all over the place i think with this one so uh, i've started it now so a bit like magnus magazine i've started so i've finished so um we might also carry on with the with the bit that makes it go sounds ever so sweet like i say it's been stood around for a couple of days started it Again earlier, no engine noise. Sweet, sounds lovely. Still got the sound deadening underneath the bonnet and so forth there. So we'll shut that down. We'll clip that in, there we go. Now I've always fancied one of these and I actually bought a V8 version and I sold it, I couldn't live with it, yeah. I tried, but I couldn't. Um, but I just said to uh, Bubbles, who's just walking past, you probably see him in the photographs, I said, uh, surprised you don't have something like this, Jeff. He said, I like that, it's a nice car, isn't it? I said, it is. It's got him going, I think. But anyway, there we are. So it's no, it's no massive restoration, you know, folders full of photographs, which personally I don't want anyway. Um, I like a nice, genuine car. I've always had a coat of paint at some point. Had a bit of chrome at, come at some point, but I like a nice, genuine car, me. And that's exactly what you're getting here, guys. I'm pleased to say. So I'll put that choke in that actually works as it should, which makes, again, a refreshing change. And there you go, she's ticking over there. Um, and I think we all do, certainly me, you, you, you know that I say it how it is on these videos, um, because we were talking earlier I'm going to sack the polisher and I'm going to do that. Um, I would say as many as 70% now are being sold without people traveling to view, uh, which is lovely. But at the same time, obviously, you always got a, con a concern that, you know, these things meet people's expectations. You know, as a rule, most people's expectations are easily met. Uh, and uh, they get what exactly what they, what they think. So, but even despite that, I still think there's nothing like coming to have a look and uh, getting a feel for a car despite a very open and frank video like this so there you have it she's good on the shot she's good good on the door cards it's good on the interior yeah granted you could colonize that up and, and improve upon it but it is there it is you know it's not trying to be something that it's not it is exactly you, what you see is what you get which is which basically sums this car up full stop bonnet could do with a flat and polish not that you'd be able to tell from here would you or this video but i'm just telling you because i'm here stood in front of it one or two little stone chips i see on the front edge or is it poly no it's not i think it's more 
I think it's more muck than anything. But it's just a nice car, you know, it, it just is a nice car. So there we have it, I won't wrap it on anymore, I think you've got the gist of it. There's loads and loads of photographs I've taken for you. Um, and as I was just saying to Bubbles, there are little things like, you know, the, the, um, the, the plugs in the jacking points, the fact that the, the towing eye I, I took a photograph of is, is still there. You know, it hasn't been, you know, ripped off, you know, 15 years ago. Um, the little points on the lights, which obviously light up of an evening. Sorry, point that down there, sorry. Um, so you can tell when your side lights are on. Just nice little touches like that, you know, just nice little bits. But yeah, it's just a nice car, a car, I honestly think you would be very pleased with.